I'm often asked by people in businesses, Nigel, can you help our managers or leaders think outside the box? And when I ask them, what box? They say, well, you know what I mean. Now, you know what I mean is English for, I have no idea how to articulate that. Because usually, if we're in the box, we're so close to it that we lose perspective. And I think it's very important not to use hackneyed expressions like lateral thinking, brainstorming, think outside the box. If you use second-hand language, you probably have second-hand ideas. So I prefer to think of people as being creative rethinkers. Now, what does this mean? The impulse or reflex of a rethinker to a new idea is to think, why not, what if? Now, that doesn't mean that you accept any new idea, but at least you entertain it for long enough to see the possibilities inherent in it. The enemy of this is when you hear a new idea to say, yes, but. Now, we're all familiar with this. What are some of the most common yes buts that people use? Well, if you don't like the idea, you might say to your colleague, with respect. If you hate the idea, you might say, with greatest respect. Or you may say, I hear what you say, but. I see your point, but. I don't have a problem with that. What does this actually mean? I don't have a problem with that? Yes, I do. I hear what you say, I'm not listening, I see your point, mine's better, with respect, get lost, yes, but, no. Now, I'm not trying to remove your whole vocabulary, but let's look at how this plays out in the world of innovation and business. My favourite yes, but is from the 1890s, a Mr. Priest who is head of the British Post Office, yes, butting an innovation called the telephone. This is in the parliamentary records, Hansard. He said, for geographical reasons, the Americans require the telephone. We in England do not. We have plenty of messenger boys. Imagine my delight at presenting this quote to a senior group of managers in British Telecom's company, and they said, yeah, well, hasn't really changed much, has it? Or Ken Olsen of DEC Digital Equipment in 1979 said, who on earth would want a personal computer? Well, I think only about 750 million people can. And even his nerd chip himself, Bill Gates III, in the early 90s, yes butted the economic potential of the internet, but to his credit did a huge U-turn and put resources onto fixing that. Now, it's always easy to laugh at other people's yes but, but let's bring this home to ourselves. Here's three ways in which we can open up our mind and be more creative rethinkers. Firstly, do something for the next 48 hours. Count yourself yes butting a novel suggestion. It might be from your colleagues, from the television, from a magazine, a meeting, uh, your wife or husband even. And then stop doing it or you'll go crazy because you'll realize that we block ideas, new ideas, with yes butting a lot more often than we think. But that should really sensitize you to how important it is to try thinking why not, what if. Secondly, if you're having a team meeting, I've often introduced what I call the yes but box. It could be two dollars, one euro, a pound, every time you yes but when you're trying to come up with fresh ideas. Um, there's usually somebody who says, yes, but I can't afford this process, and that's five dollars right in the box straight away. It sounds silly, it is silly, and yet again it reminds you of how easy it is to slip into that pattern. And finally, subject yourself to more newness. If you have children, try facing up to your children's music. You know, when you go on Amazon uh, and you're buying music, you're buying a book, you probably got settled early on in life. I know what I like. And if you think that you 2 live at Wembley in the year 2000 was the best concert you've ever, ever seen, it's probably because you haven't been to any since. So get something new as well as something old. And this is a metaphor that you can expand more widely into your whole life about being curious. Take a different route home. Do something new, fresh this weekend. And of course, the secret of a great relationship is never yes but your partner's idea.